What is up? It's Hobbyist First. With the release of the new Star Wars Legion rule set, I thought it would be a great opportunity to paint up a new set of terrain. Check out this desert city. I'll start off by saying that I purchased all of this terrain from a lot on Facebook Marketplace. Everything was already printed. Uh, the seller uh, had a, just a large collection of printed stuff. Most of it comes from Corvus Games terrain. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them, so if you're interested in seeing uh, any of the specific um, kits, then I suggest you Google Corvus Games terrain and you can check out their store. Uh, I'll start out with these DF9 laser turrets. And they are able to pivot. These are painted using a Xantry dust spray, uh, dry brush, and some chipping using probably a typhus corrosion or rhinox hide, I can't remember. Uh, this next section, I'm using this as like an imperial base or imperial compound. You can see uh, this larger structure is connected by some walkways to these other structures. And many of the buildings that I have here the upper story can be removed and played as a single story structure. And the walkways are completely modular, so they can be arranged in a couple different ways. Or you can play the, um, play the buildings separate without them. Uh, moving over here, I have a tank that I found on Thingiverse. Next up, a couple buildings from Corvus that are smashed together. The largest structure is a couple of cylindrical towers and you can see the scale of them with that unit of shore troopers up top. These are really really big. They almost look like um, like flower pots in their size. This uh, this pallet has got some three-quarter inch wooden cubes painted and some 3D print uh, like junk some off some off prints that I repurposed for that. Uh, this piece back here, it's got a removable second story and this cool walkway that goes around with some arches. Then I got some scattered terrain here, uh, some sort of ruined building, and these are a couple of my POI tokens that I recently made. Uh, the ones on the right use Legion um, stuff from their I think priority supplies and the one on the left is made using some craft cubes some uh, Warhammer bases and some gear guts mech shop bits. Uh, this next section uh, it's two larger buildings connected by a walkway. Again the upper stories are removable. You can see this one leads out to a balcony and then that balcony's walkway is made of some arches and stairs. Pieces are all modular can be interchanged, can be shrunk down. I also have some ruined sections if I wanted to open it up. And then this larger structure over here, it's two story with a balcony and the market stall canopy is detachable. Take it around the other side. You can see that balcony there. Moving over here, I get some scatter terrain that I made from a Wizards of the Coast Rebel transport. Uh, just cut it off its base, put it on a piece of uh, MDF, some crates there, next to this ruined building. And the ruined building does come apart, and the interior is painted and weathered. Got a couple of desert buildings. These were also found on Thingiverse. They're really low detail, uh, so they lend well to some weathering. And definitely, uh, like the rest of the parts here, needed some spray, um, some spray paint, uh, textured spray paint to get rid of the, the print lines. Uh, this is one of my favorite pieces here. Uh, it's a multi-story building with an attached market stall. And you can see that it's got some junk there. Looks like a junk dealer would be, would be using this. You can see these are all removable. Buildings have LED uh, tea lights in them as well. And the final set of structures is here. 
We're looking at a couple of smaller buildings with a removable awning or canopy, and then leads to a set of walls, which are also modular. You can see here, these pieces can be arranged a bunch of different ways. And I've got a uh, old Bluetooth speaker that I took the guts out of and sprayed it. So it represents some type of moisture condenser or some type of air filter. And then the last bits are these um, um, market um, stall things uh, with some you know, alien fruits and things in there. Uh, I used some grass tufts for some of the some of the items for sale and yep those are googly eyes uh, they're on sale also so I'll zoom out one more time and show you the entire town um, if you like what you saw here I'm going to be using this terrain as a backdrop for a showcase video for my large uh, Imperial Army in uh, the very near future I'm just finishing painting up the last couple units there and uh, follow me on Instagram to see pictures of this stuff up close and also the Star Wars Legion minis that play on this battlefield. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.